tea drink. Oh, I'll drink tea. Now we're in. Yeah. What do you think we have over there another hour? <laughs> Get the old hip waders and go to college try today. Jason, Mitch, and our buddy Colin down here. So stay tuned. Should be a good day.
might have been a small stag. Like, two of them came in from above me, and then one came in from my right. <clears throat> the shot looked good left to right. It looked like it might have been a touch low. It ran out like 40 yards and like kind of stumbled around and then I lost it but like I said I had three and I only saw two go out so I have a feeling I got at least one long and it's that seek is dead up here I'm gonna look at the footage and and check it out <laughs> Alright guys, <clears throat> so I got down, checked the arrow, um, it has some guts, like I thought, maybe a touch back, so, climb back up, and I'm gonna give this deer plenty of time. Alright, I got Grace camera, we're uh, heading in to recover his, and see so give it my seven hours and uh, it's laying right up here just blow down Get about more two more yards to go <laughs> oh what a freaking roller coaster dude oh, you got it Greg your yeah, first freaking seeker dude thank you yeah man. holy shit oh, that second shot you put on the freaking money look at that look at that first shot dude that is awesome. Yeah, and he was slightly quartering away. I, I mean, I just can't believe, can't believe that. So, all right. Tell me what happened, because this is, it isn't, it wasn't just as straightforward as it as probably as looks on video. So, I shot this Sika, this stag at 7.25 this morning, something like that, and uh, sat tight till about 10.30, got down, and, uh, Checked my arrow, knew that it was back, had a little bit of guts on the arrow, and so on and so forth. So, backed out. Jason, Colin, and I all went and got lunch. Came back in about 1.30. I mean, it's been six, seven hours. Yeah, seven hours. It's been seven hours. So, coming in, we were on a little bit of blood, not a lot. And you never tried tracking them initially. You came no, right no, out. I, I got my arrow and came out. Actually, marked where I had shot. And, uh... Came in, had a little bit of blood, and uh, started tracking, and came up onto a blowdown. Here he was, still alive, trying to stand up. So that's that's the ups and downs of bow hunting. I mean, everybody that bow hunts knows. Something. Well, what matters is you fin we recovered him and you finished him off so, quick. Yeah, got a, got a good shot in him, and he ran probably another 30 yards and was done. So thank you, Colin. Yeah, thank buddy. you, Jason. Yeah, buddy. It was. Uh, that's awesome. First first seek a deer. Heck yeah, Greg, you got him. That was awesome. Honestly, distance from where you shot yeah, him is only about 150 too, yards. Yeah, I'm not too far from where I shot him this morning, but I mean, he just it's close. tucked in here. That's pretty, you know, they, you know, that's pretty common, or not common, but you hear that a lot. If you if you gut shoot a deer and you don't go after it, you know, 150, 200 yards, you'll find him bedded up. All right, well, I'm going to get this thing cut up, get him out of here, and uh, try to get in for an evening hunt for these guys, see if we can't get Colin his first seeker. Oh, so, yeah. Sounds like a plan, buddy. Right, let's go. Thank let's you, guys. It. Okay, so it's